but I could not be any more grateful that my store received this in the exact same color, size, and even specs that I needed this piece in, because I honestly cannot remember the last time I bought something as breathtaking as this from Hermes. Hello my friends, today I have a surprise Hermes unboxing for you and it's a surprise because I did not anticipate on coming across this piece and definitely not on picking it up. But when it was shown to me last week, I was so taken aback by how beautiful it was that I just had to have it. So here we go. And then at the end of this video, I also have a little Chanel giveaway, which is something that I have been meaning to do for the longest time. So I'm really excited that we're finally getting around to doing it. But without further ado, if you'd like to unbox my newest Hermes piece with me from their iconic Kelly collection, then please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. Let's get straight into the unboxing, because if any piece, this is definitely one that deserves our full attention because it's a piece that I have been aware of ever since it launched but I would have never really considered adding it to my wish list or requesting it because it's not usually the kind of thing that I would go for but when they told me that this had come in and asked me if I would be interested in seeing it curiosity got the best of me and as soon as I tried it and saw it for myself in person I just couldn't forget about it and that's how we ended up here. But this is something from the iconic Kelly collection from Hermes, but not from their back collection. Hermes has pretty much something in every single one of their metiers. At this point that was inspired by the turn closure of the Kelly bag. And this happens to be from my personal favorite metier which if you have been with me for a while, you know exactly what category we're going to be talking about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see together what's in this orange bag. So inside here, we got an envelope, which is going to be our certificate, which is something that I believe they only issue in Europe and in Asia for this particular type of product. I never received certificates like this back in the US, even when I purchased things similar to this. But we of course have our iconic orange bag with, believe it or not, an orange box inside. And if you are an RMS lover, I'm sure you can already guess what's going to be in here. But let's unwrap this for the first time together, which I'm so, so excited about. So let's unwrap the ribbon. And then I assume inside the box, we'll have another box. So let me open this up and introduce you to the newest addition to my RMS collection, which is, are you guys ready? The Kelly chain bracelet which is one of the newer iterations of the original and at this point iconic Kelly bangle, which is something that Hermes has been doing for many years and I have given it many tries and found it incredibly annoying every single time to wear because it's a solid bangle, it's quite uncomfortable, it doesn't really form to the shape of your wrist and because of, of that twist closure on top, it causes quite a bit of trouble. It gets stuck and it catches on everything that it comes in contact with. Sweaters, scarves, jackets, shirts, you name it, it will not get on well with whatever you style it with. This on the other hand spoke to me because it was more of a fluid shape. So I'm hoping it's going to be more comfortable and I absolutely loved this super modern geometric line. I love the fact that it wasn't just a really simple old school chain, but they combined two quite different shapes. One that is more sort of like a paper clip shape that is attached with these perfectly round circles. I just absolutely loved it. I felt that it was really modern, streamlined, exactly what I was looking for in my next fine jewelry piece. 
you may remember that I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that I tried the Tiffany, I believe they call it the hardware bracelet, which I don't know if they would be comparable pieces, but that's kind of what this type of a chain reminded me of. It was really modern, substantial, but not overwhelming. So I loved everything about it. But to spice up this really modern and streamlined chain, I ended up going for the 41 diamond version, which just means that there are 41 tiny little diamonds set on the hardware of the Kelly closure. But there are quite a few different variations and takes on this exact same design that you can choose from. If you don't want any blink, you just want to place all the emphasis on the hardware and the mechanism. You can actually buy this pair with no diamonds. Then it also comes with six diamonds. So you can buy a version that features just six tiny little diamonds set where the studs would be of your Kelly closure. So here's the bracelet and you put this on the exact same way as you would fasten a Kelly bag. So you just put it on your wrist and then you snap the hardware. It kind of clicks, it makes a really, really subtle sound so you want to pay attention. And then all you have to do is twist the hardware itself and it basically twists shut just like the bag, which I love that all of the Kelly pieces or at least most of the Kelly pieces in their fine jewelry collection do actually feature this iconic fully functional twist closure, which let's be honest is really what you're paying for. And this is what the bracelet looks like on. I just love the little diamond detail on the face or the hardware itself. I think it just adds the most beautiful bling, but it's not by any means overwhelming. And what I love about this piece is really this chain detail. So what I think I could also do is turn it around and wear the chain as a statement piece. But then if I wanted to, I could also turn it around for some edit bling. And if you also like the way this looks, you do have the option to go for either yellow gold or rose gold. I of course had to go for rose gold because if you watched my jewelry collection video, you may remember that rose gold is my most favorite tone that RMS does, but it also comes in yellow gold, I believe with either six diamonds or no diamonds. So if you prefer yellow gold, that will also be an option, but I could not be any more grateful that my store received this in the exact same color, size and even specs that I needed this piece in because I honestly cannot remember the last time I bought something as breathtaking as this from Hermes. I am just absolutely over the moon with this purchase and I'm so grateful to have this in my collection. Now a couple of questions that I may get on this piece and the comparison of this to the Kelly Gourmet which is a similar newer design and a newer take on the iconic Kelly bangle that similar to this features the chain detail, but the chain on the Kelly Gourmet is completely different than this one. Even though the mechanism is the same, you have the same options when it comes to the number of diamonds on the piece you choose. The Kelly Gourmet, the chain is just a lot thicker and bulkier. I believe they call it a curved chain, whereas this one is just really geometric and streamlined. So I think it really comes down to your personal aesthetic. I think the Kelly Gourmet is a lot more casual. So if you're going for a more casual stack, that's a great piece to pick up. But if you want something that's just a tiny bit more modern and streamlined with a hint of Art Deco influence, I think the Kelly chain is the piece that you need to check out. And just as exciting as the unboxing of my new piece is the unboxing of this piece, which I would like to share with one of you guys as a sign of appreciation, because I never want you to think that you spending time with me, your support, your views, your comments, your likes, ever go unnoticed. I genuinely appreciate you being here and spending your really precious time with me week after week. So this is just a little sign of appreciation, which is something that I picked up, as you can probably tell, from the new Chanel number no. five factory collection, which was really highly limited and nearly impossible to get in certain countries. 
So I tried my best to score one piece from the collection, in my opinion, the best piece, and I managed. And I would love to rehome this to one of you guys, because in case you were not aware, Chanel number no. five, which is probably to this day their best selling and definitely their most iconic fragrance, just recently celebrated its 100th year anniversary. And to celebrate that milestone, they came out with a highly, highly limited edition line with a bunch of new creations that people went crazy for. And when I say that they went crazy for it, I mean it. Because most pop-up stores sold out the day or if not the day, the week that this collection launched. But I was able to get one piece as I said, in my opinion, the best piece from this collection. And this collection was quite special for a couple of reasons. Number one is because it celebrates a huge milestone. Number two is that Chanel took quite an interesting approach to celebrate their 100th year birthday. Instead of looking in the past and looking at their heritage and what they did well, they actually looked into the future and they tried to envision what Chanel number no. 5 might look like in a hundred years from now rather than what it used to look like a hundred years ago, which I thought was just absolutely genius. So without further ado, I should stop rambling and share with you the piece that I will be giving away. And then of course I'll also share the rules of how you can enter to win this piece. So let's open this really, really gently. And the piece that I chose to pick up from this collection is the piece that I had my eyes on. As soon as I saw the catalog pop up on the website with all the pieces that were available in this collection, I knew that this is the piece that I had to have. Not for me, but for you, mainly because of the packaging. So let me share with you the piece, which came wrapped in some Chanel tissue paper. And the piece that I will be giving away, I just have to tell you that just unwrapping this, Chanel number no. five is oozing out of this, even though it is completely sealed. But the piece that I chose to pick up for you guys is the bath bombs. And you might be like, okay, that's a weird choice to buy a set of bath bombs for someone, but Number one, it smells like Chanel number no. five. So if you love the scent, you will absolutely love this. But even if you're someone like me who doesn't necessarily like the smell of Chanel number no. five as an actual fragrance, or you don't like to take bath, you can actually use these bath bombs as little sort of home scents. You can put them in your bathroom, you can put them in your kitchen on a little plate. And I can guarantee that it will fill up the entire space with the scent of Chanel number no. five, which I don't like as a personal fragrance, but I think it creates the most beautiful, luxurious ambiance. It just kind of smells like what you would expect a Chanel store to smell like. Expensive, luxurious, and old school. I believe you get 10 individually wrapped little tablets in here that, as I said, you can use in your bath or you can use them as little home scents around your home. But the reason I chose to go for this piece over everything else is because of this tin. So this tin is of course fully branded with the Chanel double C. You have the Chanel number no. five, limited edition branding on the front, but this is not cardboard, this is not paper. This is an actual metal tin. So once you're done using your bath bombs in whatever way you want to use them, you will be able to keep this piece forever as a decoration piece. You can use this to store, I don't know, skincare, makeup, makeup brushes. You could store things like Q-tips in here. You could use this as a little vanity sort of decoration piece. You could have this next to your bed. I mean, it's just such an amazing storage piece that you have in your collection forever that you'll most likely never be able to buy again because it was limited to celebrate the, this big milestone of Chanel number no. five that I thought I just had to have. And I'm so grateful that I was able to pick this up. I was also given at the same time, this was kind of a little gift with purchase, this tiny little Chanel number no. five, which I thought was just the cutest thing. 
It's basically a miniaturized version of the bottle, the iconic bottle that Chanel number no. five comes in. And it reminded me of a Lego piece. I feel like if Lego ever collaborated with Chanel in a collection, this is something that they would launch. So you're also getting this tiny little card of Chanel number no. five with the bottle in there. So the two pieces you'll have the chance to win are the Chanel bath tablets and a tiny micro bottle of Chanel number no. five. And if you would like to enter, the rules are super simple. You just have to be a subscriber of mine. So if you have not, please be sure to consider subscribing down below. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what video you'd like to see from me next. And then also come over to Instagram and follow me over there. I'll make sure to have my handle somewhere up here. And that is pretty much it. You don't have to send anyone anything. You don't have to fill out any forms. Just be a subscriber of mine, comment down below what video you'd like to see next, give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram. So subscribe, like, comment and follow me on Instagram. And that is it. And I will be announcing the winner in about two weeks. I'll leave the date up on the screen here of when I will actually be picking the winner. It will be about two weeks from this video going live. And of course the giveaway is open internationally. Wherever you live, I'll be sure to send these pieces to you. And that is pretty much it. If you're going to enter, the best of luck to you. And again, I have to say a big thank you to every single one of you for all your support, for watching, for subscribing, for liking and commenting. Just a huge thank you to all of you. And this is it, my friends. This completes today's Hermes unboxing of my latest Kelly piece. I really hope you enjoy this and I'm also hoping that you are as excited about the giveaway as I am. I hope a lot of you get to enter and I find an amazing new home for these pieces. All of the rules will be listed in the info box for you and I would love to hear from you in the comment section what you think about this piece as well. But for now, I really, really appreciate you being here and thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.